Hey, welcome to the process. My name is Dr. John Bush. This is a just wanted to get this out to my uh, YouTube folks. Uh, don't know if I even get a chance to put it on the website. I might. Uh, we talked about scoring in our uh, uh, for frequency sake podcast, the Data Lab, and I didn't really have all the. You know, we did, you know, we don't show you the visuals. So I just said, well, if I got a little time, I do. It's two o'clock Thursday, getting ready for the game tonight or what's going to pass as a game. And I thought I'd just go ahead and show you all the visuals of some of it. I'm not going to go to all of it. But anyway, there's this uh, concept that scoring is strange and different this year. And uh where there is variation is that variation real in science and the scientific method all we have is stats okay we have uh elected to make some lines in the sand about error rates we will tolerate and we'll talk just about that a little bit but long story short you can see differences, but if you look across populations and, in this case, years of data, then uh, there's going to be variation. But is that real or is it just variation, just random variation, just happens to be? Most, if not all, on Twitter, I guess there's a few, I don't know, don't see much of theirs. Uh, most will see weird stats and proclaim whatever. It don't mean anything unless there's some stats tested through that method. With that said, a lot of what I do, I hadn't had to, I don't have time to do that. I need I need a full time staff to actually make all this real. And there's no money here. Okay, unless there's a zillionaire that wants to donate a crew, I can keep them busy 24-7, guaranteed. Questions in my head on fantasy football. We, we would rock and roll, but it's not there. This is all I can do. On occasion, I have time to get deep. This is the deep. So if you're concerned about the depth, then you probably shouldn't. You should go on to something else. But for the few that are listening that want a little depth, uh, so there's exploration of questions, and then there's explanation of questions that lead to some change in what you're doing. Okay, I guess they called it actionable stuff. So I I'm not I haven't thought about that in a lot of detail. We just kind of presented that. You're saying, well, why didn't you? Because about an hour before we did that podcast, I had thought about this and I decided to investigate. So I hadn't had a lot of time, don't have a lot of time to think about. But I like to consider the landscape a little bit. And I think that will inspire action on my part. And I hope it will you too. But it's just not straightforward, folks. It's fantasy football. If you're going to get deep, it's it's not there. It's a lot of fog and mist. Okay. Anyway, scoring is scoring different this year or not? Uh, there are plenty of sites with data, and I pulled this out. Team passing touchdowns per game averages uh, from twenty. 22, 21, 20, and 19. Okay. And uh, I did a box and whisker graphing. And you can see the box and the little lines with the little, little giant T. Those are called the whiskers and the box. The box represents about 66% of the population of samples. And the extremes 
are shown at the borders of the whiskers about 99 percent and anything above and below the whiskers are the super extremes but we have some really two data points in 2022 those are actually two teams sitting there buffalo and kansas city look at where they sit versus the rest and that can cause some skewing of things and that's why we have stats okay to try to test some of these ideas oh there you go and anyway there is you see something called an x that's the average and the line is the median i didn't define the median but you can see right away that 2022 the average is 1.35 passing touchdowns per game okay across the league so that's looking at all 32 team averages and so an average of the average is 1.3 so about one touchdown 1.3 touchdowns okay and guess what that is the lowest that we've seen that i went back 2019 i could go further but i didn't i don't have time okay you don't pay me money so uh it is what it is this is all free this is like halloween treats for you uh 2021 was 1.54 2020 wow what a field year 1.69 i'm close to two touched can you imagine the fantasy teams there on average notice the whiskers in the box that year a little bit funky and notice 2019 look how compact the whole league was really the most compacted we've ever seen in other words everybody was almost the same in 2019 that's how i do it 2021 lots of variation but 2020 big bear look at the floor and the say look at the top and bottom whiskers wow big difference lots of team variation the lows and the highs quite amazing in it so 2022 is the lowest so you're saying well that is interesting so what does that mean well, I think people would, would argue that the value of passing quarterbacks is less this year, I guess. The rushing quarterbacks would be more on average, I guess. But you didn't know this to draft, right? So uh, people would be saying if you could find the extreme elite quarterbacks, and we got two this year because – these dots right here there they are that's the elites and here's the rest you're thinking wow that's entry up yep, that means uh Mahomes and and uh Allen and everybody else yes Burrow uh those kind of folks will be right up here in this town of whiskers but everybody is sitting here 66 percent of the league is here so it's kind of sad that way so uh be aware as we draft next year if you get a year like this boy can you imagine the advantage uh having those two elites you're saying what about every well it, we hadn't seen it every year so if you are a, a knee-jerk kind of sit you know person then you'll think well next year it's a sure shot that one of these could be but you could get a year like this 2019. In other words there's no guarantee look at the change and you're saying what do you mean look year to year it changes it's not like the same yes if every year looked like 2022 it'd be a lot everybody would know what to do okay but notice it's not so that's why things are confounding in fantasy people think well i studied last year and i'm not doing good this year well you've got to think longer than that that's why i have my video lessons to try to provide some landscape okay this is me preaching anyway 
Is this real? Bottom line, can we take this to the bank? What does this mean? We have a statistical test. And let's see. Yeah. It's called the analysis of variance in your populations. And I'm just showing you the output, descriptive stats of our treatments, and treatment means years in this case. And I've labeled 2022, 20, 21, 20, and 19. Here's the means right here. You can ignore the rest of this unless you're a spat out. There it is. Okay. So now the variation stat asks the question yes, there's differences, but is that due to random fluctuation or is there really a statistical significance going on? So in, in other words, is 2022 really lower uh, based on the variation in the years? We get our stat, and the answer is it's a probability of error 0 0.0587. You're saying, well, that sounds pretty low, so I can believe this. Actually, in science, we are looking for some number below 0 0.05. I understand it's close. I understand we wish things were statistically significant. Here's the conclusion. The p-value is higher than 0 0.05, suggesting the treatments, the years, are not different. That's it. Sorry. I can't make the stats different. We hold a line in the sand as statisticians. There it is. I understand you can still play fantasy football, but as long as you realize that statistically this set, uh, this passing TD per game didn't pass the test. Sorry. It's, it's tricky. And realize I've only done seven weeks, right? So there is a sample size. The thing in fantasy, I've talked about my lessons. We don't have a lot of samples. Baseball, they do. What, hundreds of games? That That's nice. We don't have that. We have 17 games, 18 games. That's it. You know, and that makes fantasy even more uncertain. So you're playing an uncertain game to begin with. But I still wanted to look at 2022. And so I uh, sorted passing touchdowns per game. I scaled to the average. And we can actually see KC and Buffalo. And I plotted this. Wow, look at that. But the rest of the league is probably pretty much predictable, I think. We don't have enough data to claim anything else is going on. This is an extreme situation. We only have seven weeks. That say we can't really say that 2022 is any different. Sorry. But we can't ignore this either, right? And, you, you know, if you're trading or something, nobody's going to give you these two quarterbacks right now. If you ask me what's the actionable advice, if you have a big league, you might get the backups and stash them. I don't know who that is. If you really want something that can flip the script, in a PPR four-point touchdown or better, that would flip the script. So if you have the room, most people don't, but if you do, you ask me what to do the extreme, that's what I would do. The rest of the situation, I would probably switch to streaming in a lot of my quarterbacks, and that's what I'm doing here. Look at Brady here. Look at some of the ones. Look at Murray. Okay, look at Stafford. Those are some sad uh, things here. Burrow's not bad. Here's Lamar. Goff is surprised, but he's very inconsistent. And then here's Herbert. To uh, uh, I guess Dalton now. I don't know who's uh, Wentz, but he's gone. So there's a lot. Of, here's 
Rogers, people say, well, Roger having a bat well, better than Brady, as far as this metric. Okay. So there it is. I looked at rushing TDs per game. Uh, long story short, no difference. Not even even close. Look, look at where the X's are. Almost the same. No difference. The, the P value was 0. 0.33, which is it's just no, no, not even close. Even uh, with probably the whole season, twenty. This is not going to change. Rushing is rushing, and it's not any different this year. So people rushing touchdowns. So people try to. It's not any different, folks. Gone through the. I parsed out the passing and showed you the extremes. And overall points, points were passing. A lot of it come from passing. There is some suggestion that we are at the lowest here. Not by much from last year, but it's still a little low. Okay. But still not significant on points scored per game. So we have to assume that even though right now, seven weeks in, there are some extreme situations, statistically, we have to walk away and say, uh, you know, overall, the landscape is the same landscape. We're still on Earth. We're not on another planet. That said, I showed you the extreme Kansas City up over in seven weeks. Don't know if the matchups have been great. Whatever. By chance, whatever, uh, that's what's going on. So, uh, it's probably not as fun. This is not fun. You know, I'm, you know, fantasy football, people say you play it for fun. Well, that's fine you play for free i play to make money so you got to be you got to have debt so it's not fun it's trying to make some money and trying to crush my opponents okay grind them in the dirt so i got to do the extra stuff so anyway thanks for listening i'm gonna put this up on my youtube place my place my process thanks for the few that listen and subscribe okay uh, you get extra fun stuff. I hope you think it's fun. To me, this is fun, going through here and really teasing out the data. Take care. Woo-woo. Good luck tonight and this week, week eight. Woo-woo.